is uh, Masashi Maru doing his ring entering ceremony. Crowd always cheer, encourage the Yokozuna on, especially when he does this shiko, the leg stamp. Although he didn't lift his leg very high then. Slightly too heavy, I think, uh, to get the leg that high. He's accompanied by a sword carrier, the Tachimochi, and the Tsuyu Harai, the dew sweeper. Centuries old ritual. Now let's get on to the uh, first of our bouts on day two. We've got uh, Asanawaka. Very lively wrestler, or he was at one time here fighting Tama Rikido. Tama Rikido from the same stable as Tama Noshima and Tama Kasuga. The name Tama means jewel. But uh, it's Asanawaka there who gets that win with Oshidashi. Now we have a couple of wrestlers. Jumonji fights uh, Tochinohana. Both of these uh, wrestlers have been in, in and out the uh, Juryo division the last four bashos or so. They're hovering just around the bottom of the Maigashiro ranks here. So a bad basho drops them down into the Juryo division where they tend to do well and then they come back up into the Makuchi division again. These two have fought four or five times previously. Tochinohana's won uh, four of those bouts. Well, it's wavering backwards and forwards, but it's Jumonji there who gets it. There's a Yori Taoshi, that's a force down. And he manages to land on top of Tochinohana. Second win for Jumonji and first loss for Tochinohana. Next out, uh, Akinoshima, shortest uh, Rikishi. And oldest in this uh, top division here 35 years old here fighting Buyu Zan some uh, 20 kilos heavier than Akinoshima well Buyu Zan comes out slightly low and Akinoshima jumps up a little bit manages to stop the block then gets round behind and shoves him out from behind well, Akinoshima's had uh, the last four bashos he's had uh, four Maki Koshis in a row which is to say he's lost more than he's won each time and he's right on the brink of demotion now Tochi Sakai 153 kilos fights Dejima 162 kilos both 28 years old well Tochi Sakai starts low but Dejima is the one who crosses the gap uh, ahead of him uses that uh, initiative and forces him out with Oshinashi. You can see there how he just marginally ahead of uh, Tochi Sakai. Keeps the whole uh, movement going, driving Tochi Sakai out backwards. Newcomer, Iwakiyama out again, 170 kilos. Ex-amateur champion, 26 years old. Fights Kaiho, very much lighter, some uh, 50 kilos lighter. But Kaiho there almost sidesteps him, keeps sidestepping him, gets round behind. Well, that shows you how a smaller wrestler can beat a bigger wrestler. Just moves slightly out the way, out the way almost like a fencer, avoiding a, a blade coming towards him. Just a slight shift of the body, and that's enough for the big guys to go sailing past or to lose their balance. First win for Kaiho, first loss for Iwakiyama. Aminishiki, lightweight wrestler, fights Ushio Maro, some 50 kilos heavier than him. Well, Aminishiki gets the belt in the front there, first on, but Ushio Maro's driving forward, but there, drives too hard, loses his balance to the front, and Aminishiki assists him to the ground with a little pull, so second win for Aminishki with the Shitate Dashinagi throw. Tonawaka sat out the last basho due to injuries. Here fights uh, Toki. 
Both about the same weight. Both wrestlers around the 175 kilo mark. So on the big side, not as big as uh, Masashi Maru, but uh, they're near the top of the uh, range as far as all the rest of the wrestlers go beneath Masashi Maru. So that was a neat uh, win there, an overarm throw by Kotonowaka, which dropped Toki neatly to the floor. Now Wakanoyama fights Tochi Nonada. Both of them around the 160 kilo mark. They fought uh, seven times in the past. Wakanoyama's won four, so it's pretty even really between the two of them. Wakanoyama closer to the start line, the Shikiri Sen. Tochi Nonada somewhat back from it, but it's Tochi Nonada who gets the drive going, starts to power Wakanoyama backwards and keeps him moving backwards and over the edge of the sacred circle well, buried in the middle of that ring six sacred objects that's done before the start of each basha now we have Tokitsumi against Kyokushuzan they fought eight times in the past Tokitsumi's won five of them Kyokushuzan on the left there capable of a very wide range of techniques you never know quite what he's going to win with but it's the Overarm grip there of Tokitsuumi that spins him over. Well, Kyokushuzan had a reasonable basho last time, had nine wins. Tokitsuumi only had seven wins. So there's some prize money there for Tokitsuumi on winning that bout. Uh, it's the Mongolian Asa Shoryu warming up. Tremendous fighting spirit this Mongolian's got. Oh, this is the land of fighting spirit. Make a big play of that. Yamato Domashi, they call it. Japanese fighting spirit. Oh, this Mongolian seems to have more than his share. Well, that's Terao. How about that? He's now, um, he's retired, last basho. He's now an Oyakata. And under the name of Shikoroyama. So there he is doing his duty in the Hanamichi there. Now we have Gojiro fighting Kotoryu. Measured start there by both wrestlers and both of them going for the throat. And it's Gojiro who keeps that uh, throat attack, the Nodo Azeme, going and forces Kotoryu over the edge. Kotoryu hasn't been doing too well. Last basho he only had five wins. One before that, he's sat out. So he's had a long string of injuries. Hokutoriki from the Hakkaku stable. Same stable as Kaiho, incidentally. And you're fighting Shimotori. Both exactly the same weight, 147 kilos. And both about 25 years old. But it's uh, Shimotori there. Does that thrust out the skidashi move on Hokuto Riki's chest and sends him over the edge. Now we have Takano Nami, whose name means Noble Wave. We're fighting Wakano Sato, whose name means Young Village or Young hometown. These two have fought 12 times before. Wakano Sato's won eight of them. Takano Nami's uh, recovered his old form to a degree. Wakano Sato's got that Morozashi, the two hands on the inside there, but it's uh, Takano Nami who uses that with that Kime hold. He locks both arms of uh, Wakano Sato's and uh, forces him out. So Kime Dashi move there by Takano Nami. Gives him his first win and first loss for Wakano Sato and some prize money. Kotomitsuki now back at the Sekiwaki rank. Fights Tosunumi. These two have fought four times, each has won twice. Full start there from Kotomitsuki. Time's up, says the Gyoji, the referee. And that's uh, Tosanomi just marginally ahead, but uh, Kodomutsuki locking on tight, but then he gets driven back. 
teetering on the edge and he goes over so Kolomitsky touches down first and there you can see them dropping on the uh, one of the judges there that sit around the uh, side of the ring five judges in total Shimpan they're called these are two big guys that's about 300 kilos just landing on uh, some of the audience well Kyushu crowd clapping for their uh, favorite Kayo who's about to fight Miyabiyama well Kayo had a good win yesterday against Takanawaka but it's Miyabiyama there jumping the gun those wrestlers have got to coordinate their start and Miyabiyama crosses the line ahead of uh, Kayo but who uh, then follows up with some pretty uh, powerful thrusts there well you don't often see Kayo thrust uh, like that at the opponent but uh, those two arms of his were drove Miyabiyama backwards without any trouble at all so an Oshitoshi win there for Kayo second uh, win for him first loss for Miyabiyama Tamanoshima 153 kilos against Tochi Azuma. They fought five times in the past. Tochi Azuma's won four of them, but Tochi Azuma, they say, is a brittle wrestler. Japanese word for it is Moroi. So he's strong but brittle. When he cracks, he cracks. When he falls apart, he really falls apart. But he's had some bad injuries, though, recently. Set out the last Basho. One before that, he only had three wins and two losses, then had to drop out. So he's had a rough time. Almost immediately after winning the tournament in the Hatsubashu, Hatsubasho, the opening Basho of the year. So that was the first win there. Tochi Azuma defeating Tamanoshima with Oshidashi. Musayama, ex amateur champion who came into the Makushita division and in just... Uh, in just a year rose into the Makuchi division so that's a pretty f uh, meteoric rise from halfway up the uh, ranks to the very top it's a powerful wrestler has got a tremendous touchy eye but it's uh, Tamaka Suga who's fighting back well that was uh, touch and go there well Musayama gets it So Musayama takes his second win and that's second loss for Tamakasuga, a man incidentally who's never missed a basho in his uh, long career since starting in 1994. Now we have two Mongolians, Asa Shoryu against uh, Kyoku Tenho. Kyoku Tenho, very tall wrestler, uses his height very effectively. Asa Shoryu though, very focused and very fast and really full of fighting spirit. Hates, hates losing. And you see the two of them going through the series of crouch downs. Four minutes of ritual that precedes the actual fighting. As I show you at 137 kilos, some 10, 11 kilos lighter than Kyoku Tenho. But I suspect it's going to be the fierceness of Asa Shoryu's charge and his uh, arm work that's going to uh, pay off. Well, a slowish start by Asa Shoryu. Kyoku Tenho took the advantage there, but it's Kyoku Tenho who collapsed. And it's uh, Asa Shoryu who takes the win. Well, that was fast and furious after a somewhat slowish start by Asa Shoryu. And there he takes some prize money. Some Kensho. So let's watch that one again. Unusually, Asa Shoryu went uh, just straight for the belt. But then he uh, bangs in with the head. But Kyoko Tenho briefly for a moment seems to have the advantage. But then it's the grip on the belt in the front that Kyoko Tenho uses to pull, yank Kyoko Tenho down with. And that's... Uh, enough to take the victory. It's a very quick uh, jerk there on the belt and down went the other Mongolian. Now Chiyotaikai 
against Takano Waka. He's back to uh, Komosubi rank after 11 Basho. Well, that was uh, very neatly done. Takano Waka knew that Joe Taiko was going to come out and he just topped it, popped him on the back of the neck as uh, Chio Taikai went sailing past. It's almost like a karate chop on the back of the neck. It's known as Sokubi Otoshi. And uh, that's the type of sumo which they call Chumon Zumo, sumo to order. Takanawaka knew Chio Taikai was going to come out like that. And he used it brilliantly. Well, now we have Takami Sakari, Robocop, with his peculiar movements. 135 kilos. He's fought Masashi Maru twice, each time he's lost. Well, he's determined. Masashi Maru doesn't look um, too fast with all these uh, maneuvers by Takami Sakari. Well, a vigorous start by the lighter man, but uh, he gets closed down pretty rapidly by the big grand champion. Spreads his arms wide, locks in, moves forward, and over the edge went. Takami Sakari. Second straight win for Misashi Maru. First loss for Takami Sakari. But at the end of uh, day two, we have Misashi Maru and Asa Shoryu and Musoyama and Kayo, all with two straight wins. Behind them, Chiyo Taikai and Tochiazuma with one loss apiece. Stay with us. We'll be back very shortly after the break.